so that is one thing that uh, you need to check your spam folder if you are you have, you have applied for amazon because the link comes in the spam folder lead code because i love the easy interface and there are really good questions and geeks for geeks because you can see a lot of questions uh, coming from this geeks for geeks i mean uh, so try to get projects uh, with your friends and work in a team that would really help you hello everybody welcome to ic coaches podcast series today we have mr shlok soni with us who is a 2021 batch pass out from marwadi university in rajpur he is from the computer science department and he recently bagged an amazing offer a full time opportunity at amazon as software development engineer one previously he has worked with flex money and big binary as well so hey shlok how are you hi tanmay thank you so much uh, for having me here i'm fine how are you i'm also doing great so shlok can you tell us a little bit more about yourself yeah sure So my name is Shlok Soni and I just graduated from Marwadi University Rajkot and I got an offer from Amazon uh, and previously uh, I worked as an intern with Big Binary and I had a job from uh, Flex Money as well which was a really short stint and now I'll be joining Amazon But I think that will be how it should come across the top campus opportunity. Next, we will discuss about the overall selection process for Amazon's off-campus drives. Then we will discuss about the uh, about the test online assessment that Shlo gave along with his interview experience. Followed by this, we will discuss his preparation resources as well as at last, uh, Shlo will give us some tips how to ace such interviews and tests. so that we can also become future amazon employees also guys uh, we have made other similar videos about full time opportunities full time placement with uh, for companies like apple digital microsoft google and much more so you can always click on the i tab up there to uh, watch those videos so shlok let's get started so shlok now first question from my side to you is that how did you come across this off campus opportunity at amazon right so uh, one thing that i realized uh, going through linkedin was there was a lot of uh, hiring going on in amazon because every other post i saw was someone getting a job at amazon so i thought this was the right time to approach uh, amazonians to get a referral so i pinged a lot of uh, people on linkedin and i got a referral from few uh, sd ones and sd twos but i did uh, they they never got converted into an interview call so i thought maybe let's try with some senior people and i started pinging managers senior managers and two and two or three of them gave me a referral and one of which got converted into a call and i got interview call and i got an oil in and this is where uh, why, uh, where, where my uh, Interview journey began with Amazon. Okay, so referrals help you uh, help you a lot uh, in getting this opportunity, and referrals not only from your uh, from SD one and two, but rather referrals from senior managers were the ones that really help you out. Yeah, correct. Okay, so guys, just to add on here, we at IC two C also have a referral referee connect program. To m- know more about this, you can. Uh, check the description or click on the i tab up there. Okay, so Shlo, can you tell us about the overall selection process that happened with you after you were you got connected with the Amazon recruitment team? Yeah, so uh, initially I got uh, an email for the O A link, the online assessment link. Uh, following which uh, I got a call from the recruiter uh, scheduling four interviews for me. out of which two were technical and two were behavioral interviews okay all right so first you received the online assessment link followed by four interviews two technical and two behavioral correct yes okay so can you tell us more about this online assessment what was asked what was your experience uh yeah sure 
so uh, i mean the online assessment uh, link that i received uh, was uh, unfortunately in my spam folder and this was the case with a lot of people that i knew so most of them didn't even realize they had gotten the link in the because it was in the spam folder and af- even after getting the link a lot of them couldn't even access the link i was among the fortunate one who was able to uh, access the link so that is one thing that uh, you need to check your spam folder if you are if you have applied for amazon because the link comes in the spam folder and uh, so i took the uh, oh, online assessment uh, in there there were two questions uh, and for each of those coding questions we have to write our approach and the time complexity uh, in the next question itself so basically there were two coding questions in the online assessment okay. yeah so there were mainly two coding questions yeah and also just to, just to repeat once again if uh, this uh, the incident which which look that happened that is uh, his online desk link was found in the spam folder so this happens not just with amazon but many other companies as well that um, i have also faced it sometimes so uh, guys if you are applying to any company keep a regular check on your mails even in the spam folder okay so um, all right so can you tell us more about your four interviews now you told us that you had two in, uh, technical interview rounds followed by two behavioral interview rounds so can you tell us about the two technical rounds interviews that you gave what was asked in those interviews and what was your overall experience uh yeah sure so uh, the two technical rounds were uh, almost the same so the uh, the flow of the interviews was something like this so uh, the first question is to introduce yourself and the interviewer makes us comfortable and then ask one questions uh, revolving around amazon's leadership principle and then we straight ahead dive into coding questions so there were two coding questions uh, and this was the same like the, those coding questions were the difficulty of those were easy to diffi- uh, easy to medium they weren't really difficult uh, the main thing that the interviewer is looking for is how you are approaching the question and how if he is able to understand what you are thinking correctly or not uh, yeah so this was the case in both the technical interviews okay and what about your behavioral round interviews right so behavioral round interviews will vary uh, for different people uh, because it majorly revolves around what you have done in the past so in my case the first behavioral interview revolved around uh, my past internship that i had done and past projects so he would ask me questions re- around that and also questions uh, around my leadership uh, skills and questions revolving around amazon leadership principles as well in my second behavioral interview uh the questions were about my past job my current jo- my then current job uh so he was he would ask me questions about my team and about my manager so you can expect questions uh, ar- uh around your past uh, experiences and uh, the answers that you give should be aligned with the amazon's leadership principles that is what they are majorly looking for if you are a culturally fit person in their uh, environment or not all right so the crux of both the inter- both all the four interviews i would say was mainly how you communicated to them how you expressed your views to them and uh, after this you also had to show that you really fit in their culture their amazon culture work culture right, right? yeah okay all right so uh, was there anything else after these interviews then so after giving all those four interviews i got a call from recruiter uh, just to congratulate me uh, in the very uh, it was about 10 o'clock in the night and that i got a call congrat- uh, congratulating me and then the onboarding uh, steps uh, started okay all right and what was the overall you can say whole duration like from the date when you got your online assessment link to this final call right so uh, the duration for me was i got my online assessment link on 
last week of may and i got my uh, acceptance call on june uh, so it was uh, around one one and a half month and this is not the case usually uh, i have heard uh, people get the offer within a week or at max two weeks but uh, there were a lot of delays in my case uh, so uh, that was my duration around 1 to 1.5 1. months okay so that's great so guys this was all about the overall selection process for amazon off campus for the role of sge1 now shlok will tell us and rather we'll discuss how do we reach to here how do we get a call uh, how do we get a final call how do we ease the interviews the online assessment rounds and all those things so if you're still watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe all right so shlok please uh, Tell us what all preparation resources that you use to, um, you know, prepare for the online assessment round as well as the interviews. Uh, right. So I mean, this is a really difficult questions because uh, I have been doing DSA and competitive programming and web dev and everything for the past two three years, and I haven't really followed one single uh, website to learn the DSA or one single course. So it's really difficult. But two three. uh prominent ones which i used <coughs> extensively was lead code because i love the easy interface and there are really good questions and geeks for geeks because you can see a lot of questions uh coming from geeks, geeks for geeks and it's a, it's a bible for uh, our uh, computer science graduates or uh, computer science uh, students uh one more thing uh, that i followed and it was re- it has really helped me is cses because uh, cscs has competitive level questions and th- uh, the questions if you do in an, in the order uh, that they have presented it uh, really helps uh, build uh, the foundation that is required so cscs is a really good uh, thing if you are uh, learning cp and few youtube channels like code and code is my favorite uh, i mean it has uh, explanations to almost everything you will ever need uh so cscs is great uh, sorry uh, code and code is a great a uh, youtube playlist uh, has a lot of youtube playlist for us so yeah okay all right and anything you would suggest for the interview process also uh for the interview process uh, because i just wanted to get the hang of uh, pair coding or live coding so i used pram a lot uh, initially but uh, eventually i found out that i was wasting a lot of my time uh, interviewing others because sometimes the candidates uh, the your partners on prem were not that good and they would suck a lot of time out of of your uh, schedule so i mean prem is good but make sure to keep in mind that it could waste a lot of your time especially if you are in your third or fourth year and placement season is approaching okay all right and now one last question to be you uh so is that what tips do you want to give to all of those watching this video so that they also can crack this amazon interview and come and make their dream into reality uh yeah so uh, first thing that i clearly lacked giving the amazon interview was i didn't have many projects uh, done in a team i haven't really worked in it ever had did not work in a team for in even my college projects so i didn't really have that experience and in the behavioral interview they were specifically looking for your uh, leadership skills how good of a team member you are and do you really have that team spirit or not so i mean uh, folk try to get projects uh, with your friends and work in a team that would really help you uh and other things like just uh, you, there's no way out you will have to learn dsa uh, for uh, interviews like amazon i did cp which is a bit of a overkill for interview questions but i fell in love with cp i loved doing cp that's why i did cp but you will have to do uh, data structure and algorithms and make sure that you have that coding mindset uh, ready so yeah okay all right thanks for all these details look so just to sum up what we discussed today was that for the off campus drive for amazon there is 
one online test followed by four rounds of interviews, two technical and two behavioral rounds. Then we came to know about a few resources that might prove to be helpful. Some of them include Beach Code, Beats for Geeks, CSES, as well as Scrum. Along with it, there is a YouTube channel named Code and Code that can be used. At last, an important tip that Stoke gave us was that experience of working in teams is quite essential for companies like Amazon. So, if you get an opportunity to work in a team, don't lose that. Alright, so thanks Shlok for being with us today. Thank you, thank you Tanmay. It was my pleasure. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video. So do stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.